you going to protect yourself against the world if you're not doing your due diligence and studying? Right. What good is it for you to open your mouth if you never once opened a book that's got the, what what they call it, the de- not the Declaration of Independence? Well, yeah, that too. And if yeah. you never opened a book about the treaties in the world, especially mm-hmm. the treaties that pertain to the so-called Unum Sanctum United States, Right. Or or like uh what is it they the constitution. If you mm-hmm. ain't never opened a book or tried to un- learn about this type of stuff, you ain't got no room to talk in the world. Like I don't want to hear it. Yeah, it's the same that our people are um it's a it's a real shame and it sometimes sad me that our people are so dumbed down that mm-hmm. this information don't even appeal to them. Man, right. go on, on. You, there you go talking about that shit again, that stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead on. I ain't even got time for people like that. Right. It's hard enough dealing with people that call themselves conscious and woke, and you got to debate with them about this. Yes. That's that's bad enough. Nothing. Because like we've said so many times on on these shows, we don't have time for that. If you disagree, if mm-hmm. you don't feel this, man, shit, I'm going to keep it moving. There he is. What's good, bro? What's that? Big brother Cam. Thank you as always. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How hey, you? What's up, which? None much, none much. Just uh getting into getting into starting the show again. I had to restart my computer a couple of times because the audio wasn't picking up on the zoom but got it fixed as you you know you you gonna have some afro puffs in a minute huh you gonna have some afro puffs in a minute i know oh. right it's just like it's coming in like a a chia pit in a way <laughs> I, I still got my gray hairs i started getting gray hairs when i was 14 15 15 yeah, when I was, uh, I, I started getting growing them in. But don't pull them out because the, the, the uh, Quran speaks of those being uh, symbols of wisdom. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It says, not to, it says not to pluck them out. Right. Yeah. And that's the whole thing about why I had decided to kind of cut my hair because of the perm. Um, I don't know Did if you've you seen it. All out? Yeah, to cut the perm out, but I never. No, I did. Did, did you? Did you cut it all out? Yeah, did you the, start perm- the beginning. Yeah, just where like the the new roots were still in, but she cut it up not not like completely bald. Uh-huh. It was just, just like cutting where uh where you could see the the perm and stuff coming in. Because what was happening, I I was getting so sick and tired of living with. Every time I get a perm, a couple of weeks later, when the new growth come in, it's friction starting to happen. The, the perm hair can't get along with the new growth hair that, that curls up. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I, get, I got tired of that, you know, that getting matted up sometimes or whatever if I wasn't washing. Or Ooh, putting that stuff in it to maintain it. Huh? Or... Because you weren't putting the stuff in it to maintain the perm. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like that's dead hair. I'm glad you cut that out. I'm glad you started from the beginning with your natural stuff. Yeah, I had been feeling it for a while on on my heart, on my spirit for for years before I finally done had done it. But I always felt, especially when I kept, was coming back home up here to you know the more science and everything and realigning myself back up with our law. And understanding life, I, I said, you know what? What would be a better way than to show my dedication to a lot that I'm real serious about this and I want to turn my life around? Cut out 
all of the damaged hair. Uh, not not to say that it, I was my hair was damaged, but cut out the perm. You know, yeah, yeah. it's like abomination on your head. Yeah, because your your you know your hair are extensions of your inner of your inner soul of your inner self. Exactly. So you'll, you'll block it with them them chemicals and whatnot. You'll block right. your transmission. Right, right. That's it right there. So I said, let me let me maybe I should do it. Go ahead and do because you know how 2020 started off. Folks couldn't get in to see their hair hairdresser or nothing, they barbers and stuff. So because of that, my shit had gotten just locked, locked. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. So by the time the first time, as soon as they allowed folks to start going back to the to hair salons and stuff, I went back to my hairdresser and told her, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's let's get it out the way. So that's I'm what good. I did. Two days before my birthday, I never forget it. So that was right. monumental for me. I'm glad. Thank you. I, I I just that's just my way of like how I connected and understand our lot. We all have our ways in relation in, in our relationships with with our lot of the Creator. And our and we and we you know deal and converse with Allah many different ways. So I said to myself, the 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 way that I'm spiritually connected to Allah, I'm starting to wake up and understand the things that are being shown to me, and I'm seeing and I'm waking up to it, and I'm realizing that I yeah I do see that I did catch that, and realizing that yo. The signs that you see in all this, the things that you can see with your own eyes, you know, that's just, that's the way Allah talks to us. Mm -hmm. You know, that intuition, that connection. Yeah. Yeah. So. I want to, you mind if I make a suggestion to you? Go ahead. Yeah. It's some stuff that I, I know you probably have heard it, of mm -hmm. it, but the black castor oil. Yeah. Castor oil. Castor oil, 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 excuse me. Yeah. The best, if you can find it, is the Haitian black castor oil. Mm. The, the, the Jamaican is okay. It's okay. But that Haitian black castor oil is the best. Oh, look that up. It might be kind of hard to find, but it will really, really, I mean, put your hair back where it needs to be. You put that stuff in your hair. Uh -huh. And on a daily basis, you brush your hair and you brush it to the roots, to the end with yeah. that stuff in it. And you do yeah. that on a regular basis, man, uh -huh. your hair will be healthy in no time. Right, right. Because that stuff is pure. It ain't got no chemicals or nothing in it. It's pure. Mm -hmm. that, that last one on the end is what I used to, what I use. This that one, right? This one? Uh, yep, that's the one I use. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just uh, saw the website for that. Okay, let's see. There it go. What website is that? Um, JC oh, Penny. Is it? Yeah, JC Pen. Is that it? Yeah, JC Penny, and then the other one is what Alta. Yeah. yeah. I bet they. Well, yeah, sixteen dollars. That's okay then. Yeah, because I used to get mad at that. I used to get mine at Whole Foods, and they they don't even carry it no more. And it was nineteen dollars there at the Whole Foods store. Hell yeah! I'm glad you. I saw that, man. Man, I'm glad you talked. You that up. I wouldn't have had no idea. Yup, that's the best. I promise you. When I was using, when I first started my twist, uh huh, and uh, they they were just little little strings, right? Man, I used to do my hair every single day. Well, I used to. I used to go to the park and sit out in the sun uh -huh. while that sun was beating down on my head. And I used to do my hair with that. Man, that some of my stuff got so doggone long, man. You see? Yup, I see. This is what, what I use, that Haitian. How long have, had you lot? How long had it been since you started when you did? When when did you start? How how many years have you have you had yours in? Mm. Damn, now you're asking me something I can't answer. I don't know. It's <laughs> I, I guess a couple of years, maybe. Okay. More than years, like but... is it like near 10, maybe, or less than 10? That I've had it? Yeah. That you've I been doing. Well, I'm thinking like five or so. 
Five is okay. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't but bad. I was just but what I'm really was speaking on was the miraculous way that it grew when mm-hmm. I was using it like every day, every other day. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Massaging it in my hair, brushing my hair with it, and then twisting my hair with it. I right. mean, it just, it just grew, man. Man, that's what I'm talking about. I said yeah, to myself. It's, it's super healthy. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's organic. It's, yeah. It's, it's awesome, man. Right. <clears throat> and they got some with the essential oils. Some you can get with the peppermint in it. Some you can get with the uh, 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 rosemary in and man, it's scented it's awesome. kind. Yeah, that's that's what's up. I'm gonna look into getting me some of that. I'm gonna put that. Yeah, I'm going to JC Penny tomorrow and go get it because I, yeah. I had to make it. JC Penny ain't but uh like a few minutes away from from the crib here for me. Yeah, me too. So I'm a, I'm gonna def check that out. Oh, my bad. Let me put it back up for you. I'm yeah, def check it out. It's good, I got it. Yeah, I'm yeah. going there tomorrow. Cause I, mean, I, I had been to several little stores, which I didn't want to go to them Asian stores. Right. But I went there looking for it, and I couldn't find it. So, man, right. that's awful. That's awful. For I'm real? I'm going there tomorrow to get me some. Yo, look at, look at that. We out here connecting and, and finding stuff. See, that's what that's what I love about doing doing this type of uh, show or, <laughs> or whatever. I, right? I just... I just love connecting with my people, like just checking in and just just having these type of talks, you know, because that's what it's about with us as, as a people, as 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 Moors. Whether whether our folks see themselves as Moors or not, one thing for sure, we we will come together in a heartbeat. To talk. That's the thing that you gotta love about being melanated, I guess. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, we all got that. We connected to our law. I feel, I really do believe that, you know, my blood type, they say, oh, negative is a very special blood type. It that is. You know what happens that I have it. Yeah, that's top, that's top line. Yeah. You and, can give blood to everybody, but you, but you, you can't receive blood from everybody. Exactly. Exactly. And every and time. That's awesome. You got that blood type. Yes, yeah, that's a blessing. And I notice every time I go to the doctor just for my checkups, they always tell me how my hemoglobin levels is and like all that. And yeah, it'd be low a lot of times, but they'd be like, do you want to get, uh, should we schedule you a blood transfusion appointment? And I'll be telling them like, nah, I'm good. Hell no, you know why they want to give you a blood transfusion, shit. Oh, yeah. and, I, and that's why I want you, Sister Wilhelmina, I want you to really, really do your research and your diligence on cleaning and purifying your blood. You could get rid of that that sickle cell. You could you could transform your blood with herbs and, and your diet, yeah. Willa. Yes. You could do it. It takes time, but you could do it, Willa. Right. It's worth it. It's worth it. No matter how long it's the time it takes. And look, I check this that, out. I, I, I want to say this before I forget. I don't mean to cut you off. You hear me? Go ahead. Go ahead. This, I, I can tell you, me and you coming on this thing is spiritual right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just that, just that little information, what we just did. And I don't know if you just heard that knock. Did you hear that knock? It was a notification I just got. Mm-mm. It was just a big, big blessing just came to me with that notification. What's up? Yeah. No, it, 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 well, I, I can't really say, but it was a it was a blessing that just came to me. Some bliss just came to some abundance just came to me. I was just notified of it. Right. It's a spiritual thing here, boy. Man, that's what I'm saying. Like this, and that ain't the first time that's happened. Can no, it, it sure isn't, is it? It ain't. I noticed that uh, all the months that we've been doing this, we've been doing almost, coming up almost a year uh, in May, but I've been noticing how when we used to connect with the rest of the other members they used to come each and every show it was like that we would all be hadn't spoken a word to each other early in the day but as soon as we get on the show i would notice that they would we would be talking about the exact same stuff that i was just thinking about all day by myself that's spiritual that's what i was saying that's a spiritual thing see we just came in here into a frequency Mm-hmm. There's a high frequency, 
and we invoke in spirit. Because you know, you see how what I do before. While we get on, I always sage. I always sage before. Right. I got, I got my mind and my spirit within the, within the moment, right. and I'm calling on those ancestral spirits to come be with us while we read, while we study, and while we communicate. And then things happen, Willa. Just things yes. happen. Yes. That was a big. That was a big bliss that just came to me just now. I'm so grateful, Will. I'm so fucking grateful, man. That's what it's about, man. And that, and that's how that's what kept me going with keeping the show going for for, for us. It, I had to realize it ain't just it ain't got nothing to do with me. This is for the people. This is what part of what I'm here to do. Whatever going on behind the scenes or personal matters and all that 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 ain't got nothing to do with nothing really. This show is very special because just just based off what you just said, and that mm -hmm. has that has happened so many times. We had so? Shows in the past, and it'd be like, "Yo, how did you know?" I would be sitting back just listening to everybody as we talking, and I'd be amazed, like, "Yo, I was just thinking." Of, thinking I remember. That. I remember it happened several times. I know. Yeah. I know. And That's then what does the Quran say about that? Where two or more are gathered in my name and I am mentioned, the spirit is invoked and there's some bliss that comes from that. Yes. Confirm. That's, That's okay. awesome, man. That is fucking awesome. Gratitude. Gratitude forever. Forever and forever. Man, man, man. That is so awesome. And I keep always, now I think about what you that uh, said the first couple of times that I had met you, I never forget your vibe will attract your tribe. Right. Ever since right. I heard you from you, I always that's one of the things that I remember first. Right. Above it, everything else. Like right. you know, running the show. I never I never had a problem with running the show here, like, but it's just I had to reacquaint myself with all of the responsibility that entail of being a show producer or a co-host and all of that. I went to school for it, true enough. However, I had to still get my vibe, my vibration right. So I wouldn't be nervous so much all the time. But right. as time go on and we continue coming back to each other, that, <laughs> that burden, let it lessen. <laughs> And I you, know we family, right? Right, right. Can't wait for the show and shit. Yeah, man, it's it's so I, man, like it just the burden of being shy and wondering if I'm like sounding stupid or not making sense. It lessens it it lessens because of each time that y'all come back. So that gives me energy right there. Like yo, I don't have to be fearful of, of what I say on the show. We all getting to know each other. And the more we doing that, the family bond, the unit is there, that, that trust and that love is there. And that's what being more is, is all really about, at least in my book, that unit. Oh, that is it, you right, you speaking right. You know, so I feel like what we entering, what we are within right now, you know, the saying, you can get, don't get lost in the sauce. You can, you can be the sauce, but don't get lost in the sauce or something like that. But um, what I'm realizing about what we're going through today, we're going through our trials and tribulations as a generation. We making our bones uh, off the things that are going to make us the elders one day gonna make us wise you know so all the stuff that we seeing out here on tv and just being manipulated by the media those are just really just bones that, that are sharpening us every every sword is always gonna need what they use sword is i think they use some type of rock to sharpen their sword but anyway right. what i mean right i know what you're talking about go ahead yeah what i mean though is just all the stuff that's going on around us that we've been talking about, the current events, those are just, those are just tests. Those are just our sharpeners. 
Those are distractions. Yeah, the distraction. That that's just stuff to keep us on points. Cause Allah never said what we have to do as Moors, even though He bestowed the covenant upon us, the Moors, the Moabite, <laughs> protect the covenant. And what's the covenant? We got to protect all four corners of the earth. That's what our responsibility is. So, you know, regardless of the distractions, you got to always be mindful of that. Right. Because we, that's the thing about being more, we have the ultimate responsibility for, for, for the world. And that's right. what, that's the secret that everybody trying to, all the other nations, the mm -hmm. mongrels, I guess you would call them. And this that's, is the reason for study, whether, whether we do it in the group, mm -hmm. but especially when you do it on your own, this is the reason for study. Right. I mean, you're not elevating yourself to any higher levels of consciousness if you're not studying because you're not putting the information in the mind right exactly how, how are you going to get changed with no change of the information correct information right this is vital this is this is vital and has to be done it has if to you want change if you want to. elevation in your mm -hmm. consciousness right right that's why you study more science right that's the way it ha it has to be, you know, like all the great they, be claiming it. Stuff. they gotta do it. Hmm, my bad. I was just saying we just can't be claiming this stuff. We gotta be about it. Right. That that's the part right there. That's the whole point. You gotta you can't just be talking all day about you gotta really incorporate that and encompass it within your life on a daily basis. Right. So me and that's myself, where we I know I got to do it. Yeah, it's, it's a must. Right. Only thing, the thing that I'm I'm really trying to gear myself up on not more knowledge of, I yes, I know that I'm a more. However, I want to get more knowledge on what it means to be a Muslim. Like when Ramadan, Ramadan is here, right? Right. I want to learn that how what that means because i was raised up christian came from a christian family you know and they moved all the way from what aliceville alabama and then everybody moved here to little rock back back in the old day 40s and 50s and all that mm -hmm. and they built up our our mm -hmm. church our church is, is a family church cme whatever so you know i was raised up in that christian that methodist uh, life or whatever right but when i began to realize what what this more science is and remember the lessons my father taught me peace be upon him he left me clues about moorish history and knowing certain things about moors being that he was from a town in south Car carolina that happened to be a home a a, a, a home spot a protection spot for Moors back in, back in the old days. 96 South Carolina, home uh -huh. of the Star Fort. So he would always leave me little clues and stuff. And so I, I realized that after he had passed away and after I had went through my depression and then found my way through social media coming back into seeing other people talk about Moorish history, more stuff, it blew me away because I was like, yo, you mean other people know about this stuff? And they, and they my age? You mean to tell me the stuff that my father was raising me on? Y'all know it too. It's people out there that know about this too. So I say that to say it's a full circle, circle of life. You know, everything is for a reason. And that's why I always praise my father so much uh, when I talk about him, because he did such right. a, a phenomenal job on teaching me. Leaving that guidance for you. Yeah. I mean, Cam, when I tell you that man knew how to teach, he knew how to teach. He planted cedar trees, pine trees in our yard years before I was born. 
and these trees were by the time I as I was growing up as a little girl, these trees were, were tall as hell like you know how they say the cedar trees of Lebanon that type of bit but my point is he he planted those in in the yard when they moved in and it's just little things like that you know he left little small clues here and there about it was always more science that he was trying to leave breadcrumbs and it helped me to remember and understand things that when the time did come that I came back home and was re got into relearning that history because I saw other people on social media who knew about it and that energized me to go back and relearn what I had learned growing up from him, if that make any sense. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So it's just it's just blessings, bro. It's just blessing. It's a it's it's a divine higher power that's brought us all together. You that's know, really, you and I know it especially. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. I mean, you either see it or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. You either see it or you don't. Right. And, you know. So I can never forget that. And and it makes me so proud that I know it because knowing that it's been a blessing that led me to meeting other people like you. Say, all of them, Donna, right. Right. Uh, Rain, Supreme, David. David, right. Tariq, everybody, past and present from the dry squad, you cheated, everybody. You know, it's been nothing but a blessing just getting to know y'all and continuing to be in contact with y'all and know, knowing y'all on that tip too, you know. It's just blessing. I always say, like, in life, if you ain't got people around you that are elevating and, and, and challenge you to think in another way, think about more things in a, in a level sense, like going from one, one level and elevating even higher, you around the wrong people and you need to get get from around them immediately as fast immediately. as you can. immediately because it's doing you no good you're wasting your time and your energy right and the and the and the shift that the earth and the world is going through is not stopping it's not changing mm -mm. you're going to stay stagnant and keep not moving right how are you going to help yourself doing that mm -hmm. how are you going to help yourself being around stagnant energies or or people that are not woke right you We're just going to talk about just people being freaking woke. How are you going to hang around those type of people when you know that spirituality is what's going to set you apart and set you away from the foolishness of this matrix that we're living in? Exactly. The bullshit politics, the professional yeah. liars of the pol politrician. Right. How are you going to protect yourself against the world if you're not doing your due diligence and studying? Right. What good is it for you to open your mouth if you never once open a book that's got the what what they call it the de not the Declaration of Independence? Well, yeah, that too. And if yeah. you never open a book about the treaties in the world, especially mm -hmm. treaties that pertain to the so-called Unum Sanctum United States, right? Or or like uh, what is it they the Constitution? If you mm -hmm. ain't never open a book. Or try to learn about this type of stuff you ain't got no room to talk in the world like i don't want to hear it yeah it's the same that our people are um it's a, it's a real shame and it sometimes sad me that our people are so dumbed down that mm -hmm. this information don't even appeal to them man right. go on, on you there you go talking about that shit again that stuff yeah okay yeah. go ahead on i ain't got time for people like that Right. It's hard enough dealing with people that call themselves conscious and woke, and you got to debate with them about this. Yes. That's that's bad enough. Not bad. Like we've said so many times on on these shows, we don't have time for that. If you disagree, if you don't feel this, man, shit, I'm gonna keep it moving. Go go the same way you came on in. Bye. I Let's know what it is. Back. You know, you show me, right? And show me. So, I mean, I'm gonna do my thing, 
Mm-hmm. And we always be the few, the proud. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're not high in numbers, but we're quality in numbers. Right. And that's what matter in life. It ain't it ain't the the quantity it, it, that people should be searching and looking for. It's the quality of things. Yes, it's the quality. You know, we gotta have a whole. We gotta have a whole damn uh 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 auditorium oh, full of people in order to feel like we're doing something. Right. Right. And that's something that I had to to learn very fast with doing this. Like, stop worrying about the numbers of who who see the videos and not. I don't. I never cared about that type of stuff, ever, ever until other people was coming in and saying, trying to make suggestions on what I should do and shouldn't do with the show. Like, the information is. I'm here to deliver information. And if the the show is a few hours long, where we all talking about stuff, so be it. Is there? Yeah, that's what it was meant for us to do. For that's for us. Right, that's for us. You know, like if, if you, you if you play those videos, it's mm-hmm. for whoever catch that video and stop and watch it. That's what it's yes. for. That that part. That's who it's for. Other so, than that, yeah. And man, congratulations. That new intro, dope, Willa. I like that. You like it? Oh, yeah, man. That's dope, man. Thank you. Thank you. That's the type of stuff I've been, I've been trying to search for the right type of intro or whatever to, for the video to make. I've just been playing around with stuff, but that I finally learned how to do it. And, and it's multiple ways on the program. It got uh, options on how you can position it and do all this and that with it. And all, the editing, like, all the editing that you do. Yeah, it's it that was, was so. Dope, dope. Man, I appreciate you just involving me and my page, my name in it. You know that that's dope. Always, I, that that's what I mean. Like I'm the type of person. Like I have to give credit. I love to give credit to the people on there. Put their names up. Let them be known. Because you never, that's how it works in this new age, the social media age or whatever. Right. It don't take but a few seconds just to type out somebody's name and give them credit. Because you never know, like, whoever viewing the videos, they, they may want to check out that person. They might want, they might vibe with one of, with one of us and want to want to follow us or on exactly. our social or whatever. Exactly. That's why I ask people in my profile, if you take a pic, give credit. It's not because I want credit because I want the likes. Right. Somebody might feel that and might want to come check some other things out. See what I'm saying? They may feel that might be my tribe. That, you yeah. know, and they might, we might feel each other grow and have a relationship, a spiritual relationship. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. That exactly. part right there. Yeah. That's I mean, because if you look at my page, Dogon 100, mm-hmm. I could have had, well, I could have had thousands of flowers on that joint, but I would, I would always screen them. No, nope, right. no, no. Okay. Yeah. Come on in. No, 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 no. Yep. Come on in. And, and, you know, I kept my page pretty much clean that way. So right. I'm not concerned about followers and, and comments and likes. I'm not concerned about that. Right. See, you and me, we there, and that's yep. what I like. I said, I always think about your uh, what you told me. Your vibe will attract your tribe. Exactly, and that's what I wanted to do. I don't want a whole bunch of people coming on my page or following me, so called following me, and right. it's just for likes, right? Or they try, or they some type of agent, or some kind of agent, exactly, sent to dis- disrupt and destroy your peace that you right. have. Right. Because that's, that's what that happened on my Facebook. I got to go through there and I got to go eliminate a lot of people. They put me in Facebook jail. I was in it for a week. Then one day after I was on there, I posted something about, I didn't even speak nothing. I just posted a news clippage of what they said about that shit. Right. And then they put me back in again, right? So it's like somebody is reporting that. Right. 
Right. It's too many damn people on Facebook for them to be watching my little ass. Right. So somebody reporting me, and I've got to go through, and I'm finna fucking clean out. Right. And if if you notice, whenever we have a show night, be it Sunday like tonight for Cosmic Sunday or a Mexican Wednesday, if you notice, I make the post, and and in them I always say, if you want to get into the show. DM us from from either from either our official IG or either Oliver or myself for the for the Zoom link, and I do that for a reason because it's it's people out here who who literally that they live for trying to tear people apart and breaking us down one by one once yeah. they've got us divided. Yeah, that's their job. Some of them are agent. Right. So you got to check them out first. Right, like like so called uh, well you and you and I know who who it, who it was like that person, you know, right, right. Dis- disruptors to the community, defectors right. as you call them or whatever. Right, ain't nobody got time for none of that. Like we grown, we ain't in high school. I don't play them back and forth type of games. That's middle school, high school, elementary type of shit. If you like what we saying, like like what we doing over here, cool. Showing love, like whatever you want to do, cool. If you don't fuck with us, you don't like what we saying, you don't like what we... Keep it moving. Nobody's stopping you. You ain't got to make no moving. announcement about it. Just keep it moving. That's it. We didn't, we didn't know you before you come in. It. We don't know you after. <laughs> it don't make a difference. Like, it don't I don't make no damn difference. I, I don't know why people always feel the need to announce shit like that. Like, we don't care. Like, who cares? Exactly. It's just, a, just another distraction. You know, it's just a distraction. Exactly. exactly. Trying to stop the rise of, 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 of us. You can't stop the rise. You can't. You can't. What up, Brother David? Welcome. Our grand sheep. Whoop, whoop. What up, everybody? Just um, tuning in and listening. This is um, my cousin house right now, so just listening. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Glad to have you with us. We just chopping, chopping wood, chopping it up real quick, just about life and stuff. One thing I wanted to tell you, Cam, since we were on that on the subject of energy, I'm glad you brought that up. Have you ever thought about the reason why they make us wear socks so much? Yeah. It's because yeah. they don't want us connecting to Mother Earth the way that animals can still do. Yeah. It's definitely a, a, a way of of, 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 of of using a tool that helps you arise. Because mm-hmm. if you if you remember seeing a pick that I might have did in one of those, sometimes I do those 10 picks. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. One of them was with my feet under the ground, in the ground. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. And you're grounding. That's how you ground yourself. Ground and balance it. yourself. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's how you I'm get saying. rid get rid of and release negative toxins and negative energy and absorb it from the earth. Right. So right. wearing socks is one of the ways to stop you from doing that. Right. And so with the hair being our antennas, as you were saying, telling me. When, when our feet are connected to the ground, to Mother Earth, and our, we already got melanin in our skin, which we know is a powerful element. You put your, our bare feet down, let's say on the grass, not the concrete, let's say the grass, right, to the soil. Right. And then you got your hair, that's the antenna, and you start grounding, that, you, you there already, that's ancient, I guess we would say ancient more science or whatever you want to call it that, but just, just life, just science in general. That's what it, it is. It come from, it come from ancient Kemet. Yeah. So you don't want to walk on no concrete because concrete does the opposite of walking on the earth. Exactly. Does exactly. the opposite. You want your feet planted in the grass, in the dirt. Right. Right. The soil. Right. Same would probably be for asphalt too, wouldn't it? Yes, of course. Yeah. That's a man-made inorganic material. So what is it going to do for you? Right, right. 
and they that's another thing they 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 steal the land from us then they they build roads on top of the land that they first of all had no permission granted to them to even do which is illegal within itself and then they make up this this industry called the car automotive industry where you drive on these roads that they that they built illegally and then they get you to do something even more detrimental to your own self sign up for getting a driver's license all they miss and then they had you paying taxes on a car property taxes and then what property tax is the same as s is it estate taxes or or something like that personal property state taxes state taxes yes yeah, state taxes personal property tax all these taxes all this stuff they do to us to keep us from our land all this stuff they make us do that is so illegal and they have made us believe that if we don't pay we in the wrong we are a danger to society remember when they sent wesley snipes to jail who else it was wesley snipes ron isley who else went to jail lauren hill and several of those, several of them for that tax stuff yeah james brown all of them for these for these they, tax they, they, taxes. they destroyed your, your your guy uh red fox for that yeah yeah so it's, it's just so many ways out here that they they des destroying us in in life. But that's yeah. only because we don't know law and we don't know more science. Right, and that right there go into what I was gonna say, bring up earlier with. Remember how we we were just saying about how how you supposed to have people around you that elevate you instead of devalue de deflate you. Right. This, this, I don't know about y'all. Y'all are men, but me as a woman, when I look at rap, the way I look at rap music is it's a young person's game. It's sad to me that when I look at these rappers and they in they they get to be in their upper 30s going into their 40s, and some now going into their 50s. It's a, it seems shameful to me that they still rapping at that age where they talking about the same stuff that they were talking about when they were 20 years old. Getting cars, getting, getting all the women, moving and pushing drugs on your own people. That's the thing. What they yeah, call that street, street, street rap? Is it, I think it's a subcategory that they calling it. Yeah, I call it agenda rap. <laughs> yeah, gangsta, gangsta street rap, like yeah. rappers that 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 rap about selling the dope and selling drugs. Remember that you know that show that's out on FX called Snowfall. No, I don't. Everybody love this show. Let me, let me bring it. <clears throat> This right here. There she is, Sister Faye. Where is it? This is a good one. What is that, Miss? Uh, Snowfall. What's the, what's the gist of the show? What are they doing? It's I haven't seen that one episode, but from for what I've heard, it's about uh this black guy selling dope in the eighties, selling crack. Oh, oh yeah, same old yeah, and yeah. get rich from it. Yeah, that shit boy out. Um, that shit some bullshit. Right. And that's my point. Like, at what point is it that as a grown ass man who that are in their forties by now, why is it that selling drugs is something that still gets y'all excited? And they making TV shows like this, Snowfall, about such thing. Like to me. It's very unattractive that if you calling yourself a rapper and you're only rapping about the demise of your own people and proudly boasting that you're selling this poison in your neighborhood to your own people that look exactly just like you. 
at what point does 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 it click up here that hey you doing something wrong and something whack you killing your own people and then when the cop come up rolling through the neighborhood you're mad that if they pull you over and start paying you down and hauling you off to jail even well, though you know they're they, like no nah, i not nah, when we made that song hip-hop is dead remember that song yeah how about that album when it came out now that I think right. about it. yeah hip-hop is dead it, they, 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 those are just agendas and and distractions to keep mm -hmm. people from using their brain using their own mind to to elevate themselves is to keep you down keep you dormant right all right so mm -hmm. at my, what i'm saying like what at what point do you do you just does it click to you that this is something wrong like this ain't cool yeah, I, guess that's why, I guess that's what make me different from from my friends because they they really out here some of them really are wanting to be rappers and they are rappers but then i look at some of them that i went to school with some that i didn't or that are around here but they talk about selling drugs still to this day and i'm like wait you still haven't learned the lessons that come from this this predicament this, yeah. this predicament that has wreaked havoc on us all of us our people our relatives got us so fucked up and you still you want to rap about that like it's something glorious to be proud of right. I, I don't get it if you don't mind we change the subject a little bit i hadn't yeah, yeah. We had, i hadn't uh we hadn't talked to uh, i hadn't seen you or uh, talked with you brother david for a while is anything new going on everything all right He might be doing something. I think he said he was at the well, yeah, cousin's house or something with the family. Oh yeah. Okay. He'll okay. be back. He'll be back. Yeah. He probably okay, not. Go. Yet. We got to uh, say hello to Sister Faye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sister Faye in the house. How y'all doing? Greetings. How y'all doing? We What's doing good. Okay. Um, uh, everything is wonderful. Just been busy. It's been my daughter's graduation weekend, and uh, oh, we had so much. Congratulations! So much going on. Uh, you know. Y'all already uh, had the celebration. Yes, it was actually uh, on Saturday. Wow. So she graduated um yesterday, and she's gonna be pinned in May. So I just. I've just been running around like a when my head cut off. I've been extremely busy. Okay. But I made it. I'm, I'm here. You know. Congratulations to, to your daughter. Sis. Blessings. You said you're going to be 10? Pinned. Okay. Um, uh huh. So she'll be an RN. And she's going to have pennants. Mm -hmm. Her pennants that are harmonious next month. Oh, right. awesome. Woo! That's all right. That's all right. Blessings to your to your daughter. Send send our blessings. I love uh for us. Tell her uh, uh that's, that's such a great thing. Tell her, you know, give our love and 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 wish for luck and six nothing but the best and success to her in her in a new life now that she's a nurse now. So, uh, absolutely. So, yeah. what did I mean? Y'all can give me a brief synopsis. And I mean, y'all, y'all to skip the hip hop stuff and DMX funeral. <laughs> right, <you know>. right. <laughs> right, right. But anything else in the news? Yeah, peace be upon him. Uh, besides that, uh, we were just chopping up me and Cam before you and uh David got here, just talking about life and in general and energy and just you know all that good more science stuff hadn't really got to much news you know we're just killing time waiting for uh others come on in um 
But besides all, all of that, I don't know if I've seen anything in the news other than that, the hip hop stuff at the moment. But let me do a re a recheck very quickly to see if I'm seeing anything. Uh, well, uh, some some people have started getting uh, letters from uh, what's his name, Biden. Uh, yes, getting letters from Biden. You know, uh, saying about the fourteen hundred dollars stimulus payment. Has anybody got a letter? I hadn't got a letter, but I saw the news on it. Um, hmm. It was saying it, it was it was it was, it was re, it re related to the fact that there may be more stimulus checks coming for people. Mm -hmm. uh, be, it, it depends on. It, it was dependent on. They only went off of the what twenty nineteen tax. Mm -hmm. So they went off of that uh, as far as determining how much a family would get. But they were saying, like, if you made less or if you made more would be dependent on if you get some of this extended money that they get. So if you made less in 2021, you could possibly be receiving more. I put it on my Facebook page. And uh, uh, so some people may receive more concerning that hmm. mm -hmm. am i the only one that feel like we being paid off like hush money i don't think it's so much debt i still think it's a still a program mm -hmm. to, uh to keep you dependent on the government Absolutely. or whatever to be to keep you dormant laid right. back you ain't gotta work you sit back watch tv all day play video games not doing anything mentally or spiritually to raise yourself up. I, I kind of see it sort of as that. Mm -hmm. You know, me, with my mind, I see it as another way to level myself up. Shit. True. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I don't see it. That don't make me comfortable and dependent. It makes me strategically, critically thinking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. what to do. Absolutely. Um one of the things uh, Cam to um, to really um, you know give an example of what you were saying. I have a friend girl who you know used to work for the uh, state, and her ex coworker informed her that they had a job fair, and they had like oh so many jobs available, and they was like at the job fair they only had twenty people. For the you know they were there it was other vendors or employers mm. uh there but only 20 people showed up look at that so that just that just bears testimony what i just said yeah absolutely absolutely so you know people have gotten complacent um uh, that unemployment for some people was more than what they were actually making and you're gonna <laughs> finish this every i guess unemployment goes out every week it depends. It it goes out weekly or bi weekly. But I think I think it's bi weekly. It's bi weekly. So yeah. you're sending me uh this money bi weekly and for some people that's more than what they were making. Or for some people maybe it's less than what they're making. However, now they're eligible for food stamps. Now right. they're eligible for Medicaid. So there you go adding those two components plus unemployment into the mix now that's making more than what i was making and i don't and, and i don't have to pay federal tax on my unemployment i just have to pay state tax on it if if the, you know you live in a state with state tax and mm -hmm. so it, it it is it is it, it's a crutch ain't nobody trying to get it up right now they these no. people are living their best life no. <laughs> Niggas going okay. out buying buying lids and shit, going to buy <laughs> lids. You know, they going out buying Xbox games and putting rims on their car. You know, yeah, that. That. but uh, you know, and I live uh, close to a Home Depot, mm -hmm. and 
when I run up to Home Depot, I mean, my God, it's not a lot of cars ever. It's never more that I've probably about anywhere from about 10 to 15 cars. Mm-hmm. Home Depot be packed. <laughs> I'm telling you, doing house renovation and paint, and they is not trying to go back to work. Putting that new roof on the house, getting that new floor <laughs> in the living room, new and car. Just like brother, brother, uh, uh, all of us was speaking on, which I bear testimony to that. People planting, people mm-hmm. growing. Yep. You can't find no seeds. You can't find, and some of them, you know, uh, plants are being uh, used up. I mean, people are chilling. It's a good thing Absolutely. we live next to uh hey, what's the name of that 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 greenhouse here on Colonel Glenn? Not Colonel Glenn, what is that? Stagecoach off the freeway. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, I have been there before. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I wonder if people are hitting that up. Crazy. And them folks, them places packed. Mm. Them places uh they they they're constantly deleting depleting their stock and, and, and getting more in. That's why they had on some of them spots like Home Depot and 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 whatnot, Lowe's they got job uh, mm-hmm. uh, affairs and having uh, signs in the doors talking about uh, uh, job openings. Come apply. Right. Mm-hmm. Every- yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what's the news on crypto? You know, the government is trying to take crypto over as well. I'm glad you asked that because I'm trying to figure that out too. Anybody know what these, what is it called? MFTs or uh, NTF? Hold on, what is that? Non fungible. Oh, non fungible uh, NFT, yeah. What is that? What is that now? I've been hearing about it, but I don't know really what it, I'm, I still don't understand what it is. Let me see. Yeah, I've heard of them, but I don't know exactly. Okay, y'all lost me. What what, what are y'all talking about? Some kind of stock? It's kind of like uh, crypt. It's some type of new form of cryptocurrency. Is that right, Faye? It's like block. What is it? Block uh, Bitcoin. Is it like that, Faye? Uh, I believe so. I'm not a real big big on like cryptocurrency mm-hmm. you know the only thing that i could say i'm not first of all let me say this i am not a financial advisor and anything to come out of my name is is not financial advice okay correct all right deserve. okay mm-hmm. so anyway <laughs> <laughs> anyway we got, um, we got you uh that's not for y'all that's for those who may listen to this later uh-huh. but you know, crypto, <laughs> crypto is back pretty much by nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know how they created. I could say allegedly that Bitcoin was the way of transmitting money on the black market. Right. You know, and right. that's how Bitcoin became developed because people want to do transactions on the black market without being detected. They brought Bitcoin, this, like I said, allegedly, and you know, this, this is my personal opinion. They mm-hmm. bought, brought Bitcoin onto the visible market to test out uh, cryptocurrency amongst people. Right to be able to get people used to uh, having digital money, strictly digital money to go to a cashless society, which mm-hmm. is a danger in itself. Because right. if you go strictly, uh, and, they, and they started with the credit, you know, the debit card. Right. Now right. You know people stop swiping. Oh, it's just so convenient. Direct was those debit cards everywhere you go. You swiping that debit card. Right. This was right. this was years ago when I was telling people this. This is before I heard about Boris Nation nationality or anything. I just always was a conspiracy theorist. 
anything right. that you, you need to hold your your money in your hand. Do and they can track it. Now they can't track it. That's just like with Kroger's and the Kroger's card and all of these uh, you know uh, cards that they give you that you can get oh. cash back on. That's a tracking mechanism. You right. can't tell people. So now people didn't get okay. Now they want to go to a cashless society. So they Bitcoin came on the scene. What two thousand five, two thousand eight, whenever. Right. Okay. People investing in Bitcoin, and all of a sudden, all of these other cryptos then popped up. It wasn't mainstream. Stream. Mm-hmm. The first place I heard of Bitcoin was the red and blue pill, telling people yeah. to invest right. in Bitcoin. Right. Me too. That's the first. I didn't know what bit a Bitcoin was or how to invest in. They never told nobody. They was like, "Y'all need to research Bitcoin. Get into Bitcoin." Okay, Bitcoin. When if you got in it early, yeah, it made you rich. Any of these cryptos, if you got in it when it was ground zero, yeah, it made a lot of people rich. Right, right. 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 You just took it out of my mouth, Mr. Face. Uh huh. The government wants sudden these folks. When did the government start getting sudden folks? Is when they became what mainstream, right? Yeah, people grandma know about Bitcoin. You right. know what I'm saying? People grandma know about Dogecoin. People grandma know about Ethereum. People grandma know about Filecoin. You right. see what I'm saying? Now, when your grandma know about it, then they already. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They know they right. got people. It's in the house. <laughs> exactly. All mm-hmm. that money, and just think about it. All that money for all that time that people were making, you know, buying into it and dumping it when it rolled. All that money was non-tax. Them people mm-hmm. made out like fat damn tax. Now all of a sudden, the government Black looking people. for more people than in uh, I ain't even really saying investing in it, have been putting their money into it. Now, all of a sudden, they've got to do tax regulation. Other countries just start banning it. Basically, they just wanted to perfect it out there and let these people perfect it so they can do what? Buy the rights for it, and then that's going to be your new money system. Period, point blank. That's what's up. Period, period point, but that's all that's all that's going on right now. And people are not looking at it. Right. Right. And then you the the, the other thing to the face, they <clears throat> because people like blue pill, red pill, just to just to throw their names out there since they were so they're so into it. Like you said, if you would have invested in the very beginning, and that's why they'd be talking. If you would have invested in the very beginning, you would have made thousands of dollars. Probably millions. But, but the, just like, yeah, I, I think they actually use that term, millions, man. Right. Yeah. And um, and 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 like you know, people out here scrambling and like, God damn, look, what am I gonna do? My money, blah blah blah, this this this. So, I don't know a whole lot about it either. And my 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 intention is to learn about it, but I've been too busy, which is more science. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But I would and, say it like this. Brother Cam, and it, you know, and again, I am not a financial advisor. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, nor am I giving financial advice. All right, right you there. Right. You don't have it in your hand, then you don't own. Mm hmm. Right. And if I, you know, I suggest anybody who want to put some investment or have some investment, it needs to be tangible. What are tangible investments? Silver and gold, property, okay. platinum, uranium, uh, uh, palladium, you know, copper. Uh, put your money in something that you can hold that is tangible, you know, that's going to yeah. water, you know, water rights and all of that. If you're gonna you go. invest, right. If you want to invest in property, I think, yeah, I said property. But if you're going to invest, then put your money in something that is tangible that you can hold. Again, all rights reserved, this is not financial advice. Right. But if I had my money, the you know, the type of money that I wanted, <coughs> that's what I would 
investing in. Now, on a small scale, we should all as more be investing in silver and gold as mm -hmm. much as possible, period, point blank, because that is real money. It's been real money for the last 5,000 years. Right. Most constitutions within government deem that silver and gold is real money and mm -hmm. the only real money. That goes from China, you know, to whomever, Russia, these countries acknowledge and United, United States, United States, you know, it's not a country, we all, but China ain't either, but you, you get my drift. We got right. These <laughs> governments, so-called governments, all of them acknowledge that the real money is silver and gold. Everybody right. from the yen to the dollar bill is holding a fiat. Right. So I suggest if you want to know what China is doing, China is not even reporting how much gold and silver they get. Okay, and they are a mass, they are going over in Africa buying, you know, uh, mines as we speak. Russia, same thing. These other countries are, uh, that's why it's a shortage because they have really put, picked up their efforts and people who are millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires have really upped their efforts on uh, investing in silver and gold. So you look at people who got money and you pretty much need to do what they are doing. The mm -hmm. only thing they're doing with crypto is really they'll go in there and when it's low or when it's what they call buy the dip, they'll go in there and, and buy like they like right now. They probably if fifty thousand dollars, if you got a trillion dollars, what's you know, twenty million dollars to buy Bitcoin. Right. You know what I'm saying? They invest twenty million dollars in Bitcoin, jack the price all the way back up. When it hit a high price again, they selling. Guess who making all the money at this time? They there you are. Go. Right. There you go. It's what Bernie made off of it. Then look, you got your little scavenger of people out there who are creating cryptocurrency and they're telling people, hey man, look at my cryptocurrency. My it's making money. It's going up. Join our game. Join our thing. Yep. They're the ones that's making the money when you're risking your investment. That, that's just the way I see it. I, I'm not, just like she said, all right, reserve. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just talking about what I see with my eyes and what I feel I would do. Uh -huh. Indeed. And that's exactly the way we should look at it. And another thing, you got to remember, it's backing the adrenochrome market, the sex traffickers. For those hey man, those, those, I, mean, those, uh, but I mean, you can look at it that way, too, mm -hmm. but at the same time, so it's fiat. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. All the matrix money, all fake money, all fiat money. Right. That's what that stuff is doing. But what kills me is these so-called highly evolved social media influencers are pushing that narrative about Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Correct. Correct. Which, like I said, I, I have invested in any time in really, really studying it because I've been too busy with matters of more concern for me right now in my Absolutely. life. Right. In my right. family's Absolutely. life. In my spiritual life. Indeed. Right. Indeed. And my status as it's seen by the world. Absolutely. So, I mean, if I, if I was just, you know, like I said, not a financial advisor, but trust, trust and believe. If I had the kind of money that I wanted, I sure wouldn't be investing in, in crypto. Mm -hmm. I would be buying as much gold, and you know, gold has risen. Yep. Uh, it's all, it was almost at 2000, I think, what, 1900, and it dropped a little, you know, silver is like at $26, and that's the uh, spot price, uh, current spot price is 26, did I say 26,000, $26 is the current spot price, but we know that it's valued at more than that, so they are suppressing the price of silver, and they're still suppressing, the, even though gold is high, they're still suppressing um, the price of gold as well. Mm -hmm. And 
how did they do that? They short the market. You see what I'm saying? Right. If they short the market, which they'll make when they want gold to go uh, up. What do they do? They short the market in the stock market, make the stock go down. Right. And when, go, when Bitcoin goes up, you know, then gold and silver goes down. So they playing with these markets. You know, the COMEX and people who have paper, uh, you know, just say, well, they got a piece of paper to say they own this much gold or they done bought this much gold. The COMEX is also helping in that endeavor because now people, when when that, the market started to crash, start asking for their gold and silver. They wanted it delivered. Right. These more folks can deliver it. Right. The game You stopped. know, a lot of people... You know, right. A lot of people weren't getting, you know, uh, their silver and gold delivered because they didn't have it on hand. Mm -hmm. they, and so, you, you, you know, any asset, again, I'm not a financial advisor. So is this financial advice. All right, sir. If you don't have it in your hand, you don't own it. Mm -hmm. You know, possession is nine-tenths of the word. Love. Love. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, just anything that we, you know, people are investing in right now, I suggest you have it in your hand or be able to walk on it as far as property, you know. And if not, then, honey, I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. That's all I <laughs> Be wise. Be wise. Better scratch, learn to scratch your ass and get glad. <laughs> be, be wise. Use your mind mm -hmm. and mind mind your business. Right. 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 And to, to piggyback off what, what you were saying, uh, sis, look, look at what happened. Just It was all good just a few months ago with Robin Hood when everybody was shorting, buying the GameStop, GameStop stock. Right. Now look what happened to him. Look at Robin Hood right now. Zeroed out. Is 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 they done? They they dead in the water. Why? This shit, is, this shit is over with, and everybody's scrambling, and everybody's doing everything they can get to try to get either tangible or intangible assets and things. Correct. Correct. And a lot of the masses resources is needed to do that. Mm -hmm. And speaking of uh, Sister Faith, add to what you said about the gold, this is the current uh, price tag for gold right now. They're up 0.23%. Where is that? Uh, gold, this is from, what is this? Market Insider Business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it just it just does good to pay attention to, to, to these type of things, especially at the time that this movie is is winding down. Because this shit in the great as the great Bobby Hemmings would say, this shit is over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh yeah. It's uh, we ain't ain't no. What they, what they, they the talking about? about still? Say it again, Cam. What are they talking about? It's concerning uh, silver. Silver, let's see. Great question. Let's see. Yeah, that's a famous saying right there. This shit is over. It's over. Get the hell on out. Get yeah, you better out mind your business. I'm telling you, you better mind your business. Mind your business. Mind it for real. I'm not sure which one is the correct one for silver over here. They got so many. Yeah, I see. I just, we just want silver. How did they do it for gold? Hold on, let me see. Is there a name? Well, oh, commodity, commodity. Okay, maybe I put it in commodities. Here we go. Oof. Commodity, they got what? Lumber, ethanol. There you go, last one. Silver, here we go. Come on. Don't be like that. Don't give us no attitude. Come on. Open up. There we go. 
26 dollars for how much silver 26.6 yeah but for how much for how much silver oh uh that... now that's that's gonna be for one ounce that's just the spot price now you got probably not gonna be able to buy it for less than and this is a round and mm -hmm. a round is not government back a round would be like just a generic uh one ounce silver coin or one ounce silver bar you probably okay. just go to almax no don't go to almax go to monument well you're at almax right now and just go to silver okay okay and you see how they have um okay those are coins those are coins you see how they have rounds yeah all the round real quick rounds are just generic coins not backed by um uh government so like loose, to, loose change basically no it's not just loose change it oh. means that it was uh printed by a private mint that's what and not a treasury oh okay so that so Al okay. Almex okay. is backed by the government no Almex is just a private company and they buy coins from uh government mint gotcha okay. okay so just hit um buffalo buffalo just hit all, all the, the buffalo coin baby oh. that's an eagle see the buffalo the first one first one it says you all right there yeah. right here yes ma'am there we go okay okay so they're saying yes. which is a little low Okay, so that is the highest price. I mean, the, the lowest price. Uh -huh. click, on, click on the price. Price. You see how much you say the first for, for 1 through 19 is 30, what? $31.96. And the 500 is, five for 500, $30.96. Wow, okay. Okay, so you get a discount the more you buy. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so I don't get that. What, is, what, what does that mean, right there? They said quantity five hundred plus at thirty dollars and ninety six cents. That means in order to get that price, you got to get buy five hundred. Five hundred mm -hmm. what? Ounces? Oh, rounds. Yeah, ounces. Okay. okay. Which would be five hundred because they come in ounces. Well. You could get fractional silver. I don't suggest you buy it. Yeah. But for a one ounce to an ounce, that's what they're telling you. Okay, that's the price. Now we just seen the stock price was how much? The stock 26 price. 26. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, 2606. Okay. So if you go to uh let me show you the difference. Go uh -huh. to Almax. Go back to Almax. Is this the other website? Oh, wait. What you said? Almax. Okay. Right. Go back to. Okay, go to the home page. Uh -huh. Okay, right there. Uh, let me see. Scroll. Let me see. Deal. Scroll down, scroll down a little bit. No, <laughs> go to the corner side. Go to the side where the drop down is. The drop, wait. Where you see the, you see the okay, up, click on go at the top. It's a little oh. different on mine. Uh -huh. right here. No, just click on silver. Don't click on go, click on silver. Right, okay. I'm gonna show you how to read, click on it. There we go. Okay, scroll down. Okay, now it's saying on here, you see USD, it said ass price, 26.16, bid price, 25.96. Okay, look at the bid price and look at the ass price. So you always, the ass price is always going to be the spot price. Okay, anything over that is called premium. 
So we saw that it was $31 and some change, right? Mm-hmm. The spot price of silver is twenty six sixteen, okay? But the asking price is 31 So you just say like a, almost a $5 on that round, which is not bad by the government. On that particular round, it's about a $5 premium. Mm. So you shouldn't pay no more than $5 over an ounce. Now, some of these premiums, if we go to a government-backed coin, Go back to the coins real quick. Okay. Okay, so uh, just hit silver bullion. Okay. Now, look over there. That's an American Eagle. See the difference in the price? Right here. Just, yeah, okay. Uh... No, the last one on that first row. That's an American Eagle. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The price. yeah. See how much more? That's that's the United States corn. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. 37. That's their silver, mm-hmm. that's their silver dollar. Mm-hmm. A silver dollar, anything that's done by a government is going to have a denomination on there. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's, if you look at that silver, it's going to say the value of it is $1. <laughs> that $26 is inflation. Do you have to get that? Hold on. Make sure I'm getting it right. Let me make sure. So. Damn. You understand that, Cam? Repeat it one more time for us, just in case. Okay. The denomination, click on the coin and look at it, baby. Mm-hmm. The denomination on that coin says $1. Remember you, what you call them, bow bo- dollars? Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. The, that's constantly, the bow dollars were 90% silver back in the day. They weren't 100%. This mm-hmm. is 999 point silver. Okay. Mm-hmm. Remember, we said the spot price was twenty six, uh, sixteen. Was it not? Right. Okay. Twenty six. They, they want thirty seven dollars for that American Eagle. Government coins are always going to cost more than mm-hmm. rounds. Government coins. How can you tell a government coin? You can tell a government coin, number one, it's going to have a denomination on there. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? It's going to tell you who, what trash, print, minute, not printed, minute that government coin, whether it be Canada, South Africa, Australia, Austria. Okay? It's going to mm-hmm. tell you who or government minute that coin. You're going to pay more of a premium for getting a government coin. You see the difference in price between the round right. and the government coin. Mm-hmm. Which one to buy? This is not financial advice. Okay. Yes. At the end of the day, I say silver is silver. Mm-hmm. Which one would I buy? If I had the choice between and I was just trying to buy silver because time is short, again, all right, reserve, this is not financial advice. I would buy round, buffalo round. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because we looking at the the uh the uh silver itself. We don't care who meant it, because they not even using silver as money at this time. Right. They're using fiat. Right. So if I was just trying to call what they call stacks of coins or mm-hmm. get my ounces up, right. I would probably buy round, buffalo round. As long as they say one troy ounce and you buy them from a reputable 
company. You know, to make sure it ain't no damn counterfeit. They ain't going to too likely. I ain't going to take a China counterfeit everybody, allegedly. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to say there's no counterfeiters out there who You there, sis? Damn, cut that sister out. Damn. See how they do, Cam? They see how they do whenever you're trying to get that knowledge. See what I mean? You still there, sister Faye? Yeah, cut that sister out. I'm I'm sitting here writing shit down. I know, right? I'm trying to learn. Well, to add till she gets back, to add to what she's saying for our audience, watch the movie Lethal Weapon 4 to get an understanding on what she's talking about with, with the counterfeit thing in, in China. In Lethal Weapon 4, part of that story is they have these, these fake counterfeit mint plates to make the money to bust uh, one of the former uh, triad gang members out of jail and to pay these, these prison guards or police or something. But the synopsis of the, of the Lethal Weapon 4, you know, is kind of based around that storyline about this very thing that we're kind of talking about tonight. So if y'all can, uh, if it's on Netflix still, I don't know if they still have the rights to show that movie, but... This not matter if they that, that tape. Yeah. Why, watch it. Lethal Weapon 4 with Jet Li, Danny Glover, Mel Gibson, you know, number four. And, and learn about that. Another good movie on Netflix currently is by Netflix. Watch the laundry mat. Watch the laundry mat with Meryl Streep and Antonio Banderas and uh, Gary Gary Olderman. I think that's his name. Oldman. Oldman. Uh, Old- yeah. Yeah. Let me see. You know what? Mind you, since why we waiting on Sister Faye. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Sister Faith, it, it was uh, uh, it was pretty much saying it was better to be buy, trying to buy that uh, uh, a round buffalo joint. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Right. If if I had to, if I was just you know, because we pressed the time and still is scarce. Mm-hmm. You know. If I had to choose, and I was like, well, I just need as much silver as I can get, you know, just in case some stuff pop out. I need some money. I need something to trade with or whatever. Mm -hmm. I would buy probably the round. Right. You know, uh because do you looking at the silver? And they, show, they send it to you. They send it to you, right, Sister Faye? Correct. You get it in your hand by through the mail. Mm. I, yeah, they will send it to you. What's another place I, to look other than eight 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 app max? Okay, app max is uh sometimes one of the higher uh 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 corn dealers. You can also go to Monument Dealer. You can use JM Bullion, JD Bullion, Bum Bullion, Bull Bullion. There's a lot of them out there. One of the reasons a lot of people have got comfortable with Outmax is because Outmax is one of the larger uh, dealers. Okay? But Mm -hmm. Outmax Outmax, because they became one of the larger dealers and most trusted dealers, they busting heads out here on premium. Ooh, you know, because of their reputation. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's something. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, another one is Paramount. Uh, is it Paramount? I think it's Paramount Bullion. But there are several there are several uh, bullion uh, dealers out there that you can uh, choose from. From I've used Outmax and I've used Monument uh, Monument. But uh, J.D. Bullion 
and J M Bullion are also very reputable companies, and they stand behind their product. J B or J P? J D. Oh, uh huh. Okay. And just yeah. compare prices. You have to go in there and compare prices. You know, huh. you want to get the cheapest one. Why? Because you want to be able to buy as much as you can. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Ding ding ding. <laughs> So J is it? It's 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 three different ones. It's J M bullion, and then there's a J D. You said D. Uh huh. It's a dog. Okay. So the J M oh. is is one of them that you were speaking on, correct? Though. Say it again. J M. That was one that you were. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Just want to make sure. Uh, do you? Okay, there we go. Okay, and, and, and I, like I said, mm -hmm. shop online because right. you want to buy the most silver that you can get. Don't just go with your first. You know, choice. Right. Shop around. Have y'all heard of this guy? Uh, strength. Shout out to, um, Strength and Unity Jewels. By the way, um, they made my Aztec uh pendant, Moorish pendant. Um, but this I saw this on my timeline from from the sister uh from Strength and Unity Jewels. Um. And she said she was she was telling telling us about uh, this. She said this was my first time leaving gold as a tip. My hairstylist really came through. Uh, thanks to at Silver Steve Austin, I'm happy to own a couple of these. So I checked him out earlier, and uh, this is <clears throat> his web his page on Instagram so far. Um, Okay, he does have JM just just as you were speaking on that, Faye. I just now see it. Um, JM bullion metals or whatever. These are the prices for, for some of the stuff he has. He says Engel, Engelhard Bull, JM regular 400, JM pinch 425, uh, Mataron. 400, Phoenix 430, Star Metal 10.86 ounce 460, uh, whatever, whatever all that means, but you know. Check, I, I guess I'll check him out later and then I'll let y'all got you guys will talk about it some more uh later on during the week, I guess. But this is another uh dealer, you know. Again, his name is Silver Steve Austin on Instagram. Well, yeah, this is right. Now, let me tell you something. I ain't saying don't buy from Instagram. Right, right. I'm not saying that, but know who you buy from. Right. It is a cool a counterfeit out there. Right. I'm telling you, China is selling that stuff. Mm hmm. And yeah. uh, so. I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna be safe and just deal with who I confirm reputable. Right. Right. I mean, I ain't saying you just have to be careful. Yeah. Do you, you know, I would suggest that you go to your local corn shop if you have one first. Right. If you got a local corn shop, check with them. Mm -hmm. Develop a relationship with them. Try them first. If you don't have a lot, like, I guess I really don't have no good corn shop. We really don't. We really mm -hmm. don't. We don't have good corn shop, so <clears throat> we can't afford to buy off a uh, 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 line. Right. But you know, if you can find a reputable, you said, you, you said when 
to to know if you're dealing with somebody that's dealing with real silver. How is that that you know that? Well, one of the ways that you can know that you're dealing with somebody, because a, a lot of the corn shops or uh, L, uh, local corn shops, they do sell through Facebook and Insta. They, yeah. they do sell through Facebook and Insta, you mm-hmm. know. But just an individual, there are ways to tell what you got, if it's real or not. But once you get it, what what if you can't get in contact with that person? Right. They already got your money. They right. got your coin. Right. You know, there is a saying that says buyer beware, right? Right. Okay. But mm-hmm. there are certain uh types of um, you know, uh uh security codes on a lot of uh uh silver, even of some of the buffaloes. I think uh Sunshine has a uh has a security thing on its buffalo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's harder to counterfeit that particular buffalo. It can be counterfeit, but people counterfeiters want to do the easiest, uh, most simplest designs to counterfeit. You see what I'm saying? Right. But there's uh, solutions that also that you can buy that will let you know if it's gold or silver, you know. But you can miss all that if you make sure you get your silver or your gold for somebody who is reputable. Right. That's what I was talking about. I ain't talking about dealing with anybody that is reputable and, and known for doing great, good business. That's right. who I'm talking about. I ain't talking about dealing with nobody else for right now. Because I want to do like what you're saying. I want to get it. And I want to get it as fast as I possibly can and let it be a a great transaction without any foolishness. So I want to know like how I know what I'm buying. Like you told me before, I think it was something. It was, it's called something. Driver. When you're buying that silver. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, and that's why I try to stay with the big dealers, Pam. Uh, because, you know, I ain't going to be buying. They do have a thing that you can uh, use to detect if it's silver, even buying a weight, you can even weigh it because it's going to weigh like 31 points because it's four ounce, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going to weigh like 31, at least 31.1 and some change or, you know, they could say, you know, some of them come up, go up as far as and they real, you know, I think 30, 31.5. But Ounce. they usually are like, the weight of the coin, you can weigh it. That's one of ounces. the fastest. Mm-hmm. You're talking about ounces, right? Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. That's one of the fastest ways to detect if it's real or not by its weight. Right. Mm hmm. Well, I tell you, we got to do our research on this thing, man, because you got to try to do your due diligence and try to deal with this. Yep. And there's a lot of and Cam, I got your number. It's a lot of uh 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 YouTubers that uh, it's not a lot of them. It's like three, maybe three or four, and all of them Albions, of course. But <laughs> they give out a lot of good information mm-hmm. about the prices. It's one guy. He actually goes through all of the dealers for you and and, and look at you know and tell you the best deal. So you can, you know, cut out some of your research. She actually right. goes to the, you know, show you who got the best deals, you know, which I appreciate. It's right. another man on there that I like. His videos are kind of long, though. They usually like, you know, 30 minutes long. But he tells you about the news and what's going on with silver mm-hmm. uh, and gold. And he's uh, he owns a corn shop, you know. So he talks about, you know, how the, can you tell? It's silver, it's real, you know. He he was one of the ones. Well, all of them really express that you, you know, go to your, you develop a relationship with your local corn shop. You know what I'm saying? Because they yeah. regulars are a good corn shop. They regulars, as soon as they get their shipment in, they'll email them or, you know, text mm-hmm. them. You know, they regular. Right. And let them know, hey, I got, you know, this in, I got that in. They put you on their mail list. 
Right. And, right. Uh huh. Any so, of these? They trying, to do, they, they trying to do business and you trying to acquire something. Mm hmm. Right. And a, another thing they say about local corn shop is most of the time, uh, the the premium is uh, be a little lower. You might get fifty cent off, you know, or they might match the cheapest price. Like say for instance, uh, Monument had um maple leaves on sale for like thirty one dollars, and it was un the unheard of price. It was really a sale because usually they right up there with them damn silver eagles. And so the maple leaf is the Canada's uh corn. And mm -hmm. they had them on sale for like thirty one twenty six, which I bought a couple of them. But anyway, uh, you know, if you take it, some of the corn shop would match that price, and you could buy it that day. That's one of the things about going to a LA uh, a local corn shop is that you can actually have your silver that day instead of waiting for it to come through the mail. Like right yeah. now, uh huh, a lot of uh, you know. Uh, even Almax got a disclaimer up there. Hey, it's going to be a three to five day delivery, you know, delay because they got so many orders. Mm -hmm. People are buying this stuff. And it's not playing out here in these streets. Right. Because it's go time now. It's go that, time. Well, people who got money in the bank are pulling that money out of the bank and, and, and buying silver and gold to... Uh, preserve their savings mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so right. they trying right. to preserve their savings you know they they, they trying to protect it from inflation mm -hmm. right wow right you know if we think about it uh cam a dollar you know we used to could go to uh the penny store well, let's bring it down and Man, take a milk and get a bag full of candy. A bag full of a you brown know what I'm sack saying? full of cookies, a brown sack full of candy. The good days, huh? The and good days have of the still have a little change left. Man, them the good days I I, I grew up here, my mom and Absolutely. dad talk about. <laughs> hey, talking? Yeah, I remember them days, boy. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm that's when a real uh, oatmeal cookie really was a damn good oatmeal cookie. You get a bag of them joints for right. a, a nickel and have a bag full of them. Couldn't even eat them all. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we see what, okay, so we look at this silver dollar. If we could just buy that much with a nickel, just think about how much you could buy with a dollar. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, now we're looking at inflation. The spot price is twenty six dollars for a dollar for a, a, a domination of dollar denomination of a dollar. Do you mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Right. That's, that's twenty six cents. So that lets you know inflation is going on. Right. Right. About inflation and people haven't even been paying attention. Look up uh see if you can find the grocery list of groceries, how much you could buy with a uh fifty dollar grocery. Right. You know, comparison and see if it, you would pull up because they, they have them baskets out there. Mm -hmm. So people need to understand what inflation is and the difference between real money and fiat. Because gold and silver retains their value. Again, even though that, that silver got what? A dollar on there is worth six dollars. You know. You there? You there, sis? Uh-oh. Yeah, they... they they got you constantly uh, being uh, cut out this way. We ain't heard nothing in the last 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah, they they trying to break us from this information. They ain't going to get it, though. We can't we can't hear nothing you saying, sister. God damn. We still here, though. We still here. All right. Let me see about this. Okay. Now can you hear me? Yeah. Coming in clear. Perfect, perfect. 
What was I supposed to be looking for? You said fifty dollar grocery list. Fifty dollar grocery cart versus uh uh today's comparison or something like that. Put that in there, and we could see how much. $50 because a silver, one ounce silver coin, uh, excuse me, gold coin has a denomination value of mm -hmm. 50 on it, okay? A one ounce. So we're going to compare people not looking at inflation like they should be looking at it. Right. You know, because if you had $100 and went to the store 20, 20 years ago, you get a basket full of stuff. Meat, vegetables, Junk for the kids, children. Now look, you take fifty dollars to the store. That that's the reason why they switch from the actual paper big bags to them little bitty ass plastic bags. Yeah, right, right, because of inflation, and people are not looking. You know, and not only that, Cam, they done reduce the packages. Well, right. That's one of the first ways you can tell inflation because the packages start getting smaller, but you're paying the same price. The now the price is going thing. up. Or when they change the ingredient on on the uh, product, also changing the ingredients and stuff. But it, it, <laughs> but what it is, uh, Sister Willa, it's more so that they trying to they they try to give you less food for the same damn price. Right, exactly, exactly. Uh oh, inflation. It must have kicked them out. Exactly, though. You right, Ken. Yeah, that was a damn. That was a damn. Uh, a, a, a good times episode. <laughs> For real. Yeah, that inflation joint. They, they had an episode on that joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. They, they, they. Messing with the algorithm types or something. Yeah, they trying to stop this information. That, that's all it is. Same as always. I got this up, up for us instead, fake. Uh, if you can wait, can you still see the screen? No, you can't see the screen. Oh, right, here we go. There we go. Uh, found this. So let's see. Should I go back further than 1968? You think or? Uh, or is this? I don't know. I just want y'all to see this grocery basket. Oh, versus. Let me see. I can't find it. Oh Lord. Am I am I searching for it wrong? Um, food price comparison. Oh, food grocery cart food price comparison. Put food. It's difficult to come up. I guess they ain't got it on here. I have to uh, find it. Maybe we can. But we could buy with fifty dollars in the eighties uh, or fifty dollars in the fifties mm -hmm. compared for groceries compared to what you can buy for fifty dollars now is. You really have to see the cart. What fifty dollars? The cart used to be full, and it shows you, you know, the full cart, the mm -hmm. full cart, and then a couple of items. Now you can only get a couple of items for fifty dollars now. Right. So when you go grocery shopping, you have to be very strategic in buying groceries. In order to feed your family, that would be that full cart would be would have been a hundred dollars. Just put it in. 
that full cart right there would have been a hundred dollars worth of girls, uh, fifty dollars worth of groceries. This one right here. You got food, milk, vegetables, meat, bread, mm -hmm. everything. Now, do how much can fifty dollars buy you in groceries now? <clears throat> Oh shit! I be having I when I do that, uh, I be having to be in line. I be having to think like just from the little stuff that I got. I like oh shit! I might have to put something back because this might be too much. And see, that was another. See, that was another uh, 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 stepping stone for me when I stopped eating meat. Mm -hmm. When I stopped eating, this was years ago, and when I stopped eating dairy, and when I stopped being sugar. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much money you, we spend on that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Milk, eggs, sugar, bread, rice, then the meat. That's a lot of money. It is. But now that, that's been cut out of my diet, and I put that more toward fruits, vegetables, and uh, uh, herbs. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's all about, like you just said, Cam, using what you have to do buy the best for you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You have exactly. to do that. And that exactly. takes a little concentration. <laughs> right. It takes some concentration and some wisdom being put down on you from high above. Right. Common sense is, in a way, common sense is kind of slowly but surely making its way back to people. Needs, right, just like Kim uh, expressed about 30 minutes ago, mm -hmm. a lot of people, when you go to the herb, you know, going to the places where you buy plants and all of that, uh -huh. uh, you can't find it because people are utilized. My friend girl just bought me some, uh, I forgot, sp some spirit, I, some lettuce. I have never heard of it. Mm -hmm. But she right. brought me some, uh, some different types of lettuces that she pulled out of her garden. Mm. And uh, which I'm gonna use that tomorrow for a good old salad, <laughs> but, uh, with that. some purple onions and some uh, cucumbers, and uh, there you go, and a little Italian Look. dressing, you know. And it's Shoot. it's so. Hey, you making meals over there, yo? Making meals. I think she got cut out again. But then, like when you think about that, look what you said about common sense. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, unfortunately, with our people, common sense is not very common now. It ain't. It ain't. But hard times you, you make it. You know, I'm telling you. And then fixing a meal like what she just uh, uh, just shot off right there, but that meal she talking about she eating, that yep. meal is going to be fulfilling. It's going to provide the minerals she needs for her body, and, 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 and it's going to be satisfying. Right. I actually have a, a small herbal garden in mm -hmm. my front yard, you know, and um, which I got to de weed. I ain't got out here and de weed my polar plants. I haven't got out of. I got out here my hibiscus plant. Yeah, they just destroyed it when they did my roof. They oh, threw the. Uh, I don't even want to talk about, it, but they <laughs> destroyed my hibiscus right. uh uh bush. Yeah, and, that's uh, cold that you. That's cold that you got a hibiscus bush, man. I wish I had one. Yeah. And um, so I'm gonna have to replant another and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. So I'm gonna have yeah. to replant another one of uh those. They come back, you know, they're uh annuals, they come back every year. But they where did you originally get that hibiscus plant from, sister Faye? Well, I was I was in a herbal group ran by a Abion named Rose Marie, and she actually came over here. She had one and she planted did it for me. That's cold. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. that's, that's awesome. So, <clears throat> you know, just, you know, understanding that groceries have really gone up and people have really, haven't really noticed it by the hundred X. And the reason I'm saying this now is if you hadn't went to the store and started stacking up on stuff like beans, Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, things that you could put in containers that yeah. would last. You yeah, know. All, uh, most, most of all your non-perishables that you can get. Uh -huh. Oatmeal. You know, oatmeal, cream of wheat. Right. Start it's, buying that stuff and putting it I'm up. You, you know. I'm telling you now. Uh, and then look, I don't even really eat 
rice, unless it's wild rice, because that's the most nutri- nutrient-dense, the uh, wild rice, but I still will buy brown rice to put it up. Cam, remember right. what you said earlier? What's about the, about the uh the higher the the spirit being 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 with us on the show. Right. When I, yo, y'all remember Ananda Lewis from MTV back in the day? She was just on it on her Instagram account, uh teaching the difference to her, her viewers on in a video about the difference between white rice and the brown rice. And Look at how it break down and how which one got the minerals in it and which one is the most stripped down, which is right. the right. Of right. course. So and anything they, none we them, already none know of them rice is good. It, you know, they, the only one that's really nutrient dense is wild rice. Uh-huh. Not even the brown basmati, which is like supposed to be a, a high grade of rice. It, not even that because it's stripping, it's starchy, it's creating sugars in the blood, you know. Right. Right. And, right. So I mean, this is the time because if they put that fourteen hundred dollars in my account, that's what I'm going to do. Going to buy some more uh bean, you know, non parasites Non just like Cam, mm-hmm. Cam said, uh, mm-hmm. about some non para Now, mm-hmm. some of that money, it, and this is not financial advice. It's going to go to some silver, you know. Right. But I'm gonna put, you know, get some tissue, you know, things water. that you know, that, water, water, alcohol. Right. Uh, right. You know, peroxide. Right. You know, start mm-hmm. stocking up on those things. You know that. Yeah. You know because what we don't want to do if something happens is be out there in them streets. Right. No, I, I ain't trying to be out there with no pistol trying to get some sustenance. Right. Absolutely. So we can start doing that. Uh, I need some oil lamps. Right, oil lamps. I, there you go. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Make sure you got a nice, you know, a grill. A grill, right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. See, I got trees in my backyard if I need it. I ain't buying really no charcoal. I'm gonna get I got a few bags of it, but still, you know, I got some trees back here. You know, because I mean, I ain't talking about, you know, Kim, no, we ain't talking about grilling on me, but you're going to need it to cook your, you know, your beans and stuff like that. Plant your sweet potatoes, your yams. You might come to the point, you know, you might need to boil your water as well. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. Yes. And that's okay. where that other, that's where this other, that, that thing you know, that we was talking about, Sister Faye, about Moors trying to be as close as they can to each other. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Remember when we read that? We read that in the in, in the uh, uh, what's we call it last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stay. What is it? What was it? It that, says that, 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 the, the last one that we read. What what had caught? They caught my eye, and I said, "Man, go back and read that again." Uh huh. see. Because this is true as well. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know how the Moors gonna handle that, but I mean, you know. I don't it, know. You know. It, it's self-explanatory. It is what it is, you know. And and another thing, an, another good thing that we should start practicing too, you know, is fasting, getting our yeah. body, you know, yeah. prepared to not even think, you know, you don't right. have to eat every day, you know, no, prepare, me. eat every other day. You know, me and sister, sister, sister we you know, were talking about that earlier about fasting. Yup. About the fact that we're in Ramadan, you know, and fasting. Mm-hmm. And I'm so thankful that it was right. already a natural practice within me to fast. Right. I love it. You, and that just yeah. shows you how the Creator takes you through stages through of your life, experiencing, experiencing, give, experiencing experiences, giving you wisdom. Right. Exactly. Right. So these people who haven't been doing these things are the ones that's going to be out there acting like animals. Right. Acting like a fool. And, yeah. And this is going to happen. I yeah, mean, it's in the movies. It's in the freaking movies, man. Mm-hmm. Lighter fluid. Uh... That's what the, the, you know, the zombie apocalypse ain't really, ain't really necessarily people running around biting people, eating them. But it's about the whole uh, gist of what an ex- a zombie apocalypse is. There's no sustenance. There's no resources. 
You got to take care of yourself. You got to fend for yourself. You got to fight people off. You know, that's what that is. We in the training process of that now because they got these fools wearing a mask. That, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And that's why I wished, I will, I will that some of us as Moors would be able to get together to help protect each other and live and sustain ourselves until the motherfucking parasites are taken off and we really start off from the beginning. Right. What was yeah. the movie that uh, that uh, what you call him did the Eternal uh, and I mean not Eternal but uh, uh what's her name uh, Tina Turner did Mad Max Mad Max remember the Mad Max Tina Turner was in that movie absolutely oh, okay I didn't know that I did not know that but yeah um these are the things that I, I've been I've been noticing this. For you here, you know. Getting stocked up on all the water. I went to Walmart the other day to get water, and half of the water was gone for some reason in the water. But I don't think enough of our people know about the importance of drinking distilled water. Distilled water, I'm told, it has the most nutrients uh, in it, and it's actually good for us to drink distilled water. Over, okay, let's, let's, over let's go back a little bit. Let's let's go back a little bit. First, of, uh, what was that first thing that you said about? Uh, yeah, the reason why that water is gone is because people are performing about what we're talking about right on this Zoom. That's the reason why that water gone. And, remember, and, and, and the other thing about that distilled water is that it's actually the opposite. Distilled water doesn't have uh, the, the nutrients are taken out of that distilled water. But for certain reasons, for certain uh, uh, um, for, for certain reasons, you would use distilled water. You can drink that water, but it's not nutrient this. No. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's uh, alkaline high pH water that's uh, that contains the uh, nutrients. Oh, okay. But the distilled water is used, and, and I forget. You know, I told you I forget sometimes. But the distilled water is used for certain reason, and it's mm -hmm. drinkable for sure. But uh, you wouldn't let that be your choice of drinking of drink water every day. Right. Yeah, the way I had heard it, it was uh, when you're when people are trying to lose weight i think is you drink distilled that someone said you drink distilled water because it, it would help uh retain the nutrients that your body does need within it while extracting out all of the other toxins and everything that, that that's in your body mm -hmm. that's why they call it distilled that's why it's called distilled because it's still just like they used to make moonshine so all the nutrients are taken out of it Okay, yeah, a distillery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you got to get that water up, man, and save it and get that water and put that water up. But just like uh, Sister Faye was saying, it, it's actually, I, if, if, it, if it was me, I would be trying to do more of that, you know what I'm saying, along with trying to get that silver and whatnot. Right. Yeah, I'm there ain't, there ain't, I ain't no telling when the gavel will actually be hit on the table or it will actually come down because you need to be ready at a minute's notice with your candles and your lights and you know flashlights and batteries and you know you need to be ready the scout model boy scout mm -hmm. model be prepared yeah. right exactly well i'm a i i got something i want to uh get y'all advice on before i i'm gonna close out the show for us but I want y'all to stick around because I want us to talk. I don't want to say this over the, over the, the airway of the show um, about uh -huh. this, what we're talking about. So, yeah, y'all, this has been the Drop Squad, another good Cosmic Sunday. Um, we'll be back. Okay. Hopefully, next, uh, next, check us out on next Wednesday for the next Getting Back into the Circle 7 Quran and more with the oral statements of the Holy Prophet, who we know here at the Drop Squad as the Revelator. I am your gracious host, Willa. Yeah. Wilhelmina, Willa C. Williams Bay. Uh, I want to thank our, our Drop Squad family, Brother Cam, our sister Faye, our OGs, and we are the Drop Squad. Have a great night.
Peace and love. Peace. Peace. Peace and love. See y'all in May. Okay. This is the last April show. So yeah. Peace My and love. My day Saturday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh yeah. We definitely gonna turn up then on Wednesday for you. All right, y'all. But for the audience, drop squad, we out. Peace. Peace. Peace.